Good morning. It's about five o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to jump on a flight. I'm actually just um, waiting for time to pass for me to go to the airport. Um, so uh, needless to say, you guys know that I travel quite a bit and so I'm heading out of town a little bit, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about one of the things that I heard yesterday from, um, <laughs> hey Michael, what are you doing up at 5 a.m.? Uh, uh, one of the young ladies that I talked to a couple of days ago who was, who was really struggling in her business, um, you know, created this amazing business, um, really, really, really smart person. And she starts telling me about the details of the business and she, she goes into these very, very deep details. And when I started asking her specifically, well, what is it? Well, I'm sorry, pause before I even do that. I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. Hey, my name is Donna St. Louis. <laughs> uh, it's five o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna miss a couple of steps, right? My name is Donna St. Louis. I am CEO of High Profit Zone, and I work with entrepreneurs who want financial freedom from corporate colonization. A lot of them are looking for clarity in their business. They're looking for, because if they have that clarity, they can go full speed ahead much faster. Um, you know, some people even say that, you know, I kind of have this gift of the ability to be able to see what's missing in their business and help them fill in the gaps so they can move forward faster. Um, anyway, we have two programs that I work with specifically. One program is called the Boot Camp Series. The Boot Camp Series is quick two day, hit it hard, deep dive into very specific content. Um, so, for example, we have a boot camp coming up November. Uh, 21st and 22nd in Orlando and it is a deep dive boot camp specifically in sales and marketing so if your business is struggling in the sales and marketing area you have a very very unique way of doing sales and marketing and so that's going to be November 21st and 22nd and then of course there's the high profit zone mastery program which is a 10 a week program um, I think we we might actually be sold out of that one. If we're not, we may have one or two spaces. That one is getting filled up really, really fast. Whenever we open those up, they don't last for more than a month open because they just get filled up so fast. We only allow 10 people to get into that. So if you are interested in the boot camp and the sales and marketing boot camp, um, all you have to do is go to highprofitsales.com or just write sales and marketing in the comments and I'll reach out to you. If you're interested in knowing more about the mastery program, just write mastery in the comments and I'll get back to you. Anyway, um, back to it. So one of the challenges that I run into that when I'm talking to entrepreneurs sometimes is that they know their content, they know their stuff. They're very crystal clear on the thing it is that they do and they know it super, super well. And um, so I was talking to this lady the other day and she had told me, you know, everything that, that she was doing and, and how she was going to share that information. And so it was something like, um, um, I help people, um, I'm, I'm gonna use something because I don't wanna use her specific stuff, so let me just think about it for a second. Okay, so she goes, I help people um, make sure that they're correcting their specific communications with their clients so that their clients can get um, so they can have better relationships with their clients and move forward faster. And then she went on and started telling me the deep details of what people were doing wrong in their communications. And she just kept going on and on and about just these really, really, really deep details. And she was using language that was definitely her language, right? And she goes, I allow my clients to be able, you know, I deem them able. And it was all of her languaging and she couldn't understand why people weren't buying, why they weren't jumping on board. And I told her, I said, well, because you're, you've already gone like, you know, these, you know, these 10 steps over here. So you're way, way, way over here and your client is still brand new the client you're going after. So you're trying to get them to understand this deep detailed information in an introduction. And they're still over here. And I said, it's the same as trying to feed a newborn baby steak. You've already, you know, you have the teeth, you, you know how to consume it and handle it and, and take it in and your body can digest it. And a newborn baby doesn't even have teeth. And I'm like, and you're trying to shove steak down this baby's throat. I said, you have to break down what it is that you're sharing 
to an elementary school level so that or, or even before that before a preschool level so that your client first can understand why they even want what you're talking about many times we're so stuck in delivering our solution right we're so stuck in delivering our solution that at the end of the day the one thing that we miss is our client may not even understand that they have a problem right and so we're like no this will fix it you know um another example that i like to give people you, you've had that you've done that too uh, yeah i've done it i've done it right we've all done it because we know our stuff so much that it's just so easy for us to communicate it in our language but what we really have to do is we have to translate to a language that our clients understand um another really really good example um was there's this woman that's a, that's a doctor very brilliant brilliant woman and she uh talks about you know she basically tells people uh you can you can eat whatever you want that's basically what it comes down to you can eat whatever you want and you can still be healthy and um it was it's an interesting concept the way she has it so i'm not knocking the concept she's a doctor so i'm not even going to sit here and pretend um but i said okay but who wants to hear that message who's out there right now saying i need to hear that message and she kept going on and on about all the things you can't do, you can't do, you can't do. And that was the part that was interesting to me because she kept saying, you can eat anything you want to. And then she said, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. And so we kept talking and I said, again, pause. This is another time where people are working their ass off to sell the solution to a problem and people don't want the solution. So, so for example, um, I told her, I said, you are literally selling chemo. You're like, come on in, come on and get some chemo. We got some chemo for you. We're going to give you 23 um, rounds of radiation and chemotherapy. And we're going to, that's what we're going to do for you. I said, people aren't buying chemo. People don't go to the doctor and say, I want chemo. I said, and what you're telling them is what she was telling them is she was basically selling them chemo, right? And I'm like, you're selling chemo. You are selling what people are not walking in for. I said, you know what people walk in for when they go to the doctor? A longer, healthier life. That's what they walk in for. They don't walk in for chemo. And you're selling the deep details of all the stuff that you can't, I said, people are not gonna, they're not gonna buy that. And so you have to be so clear on what you're selling versus what people are walking in the door for, right? If, if doctor's offices sold inoculations, I'm gonna take hard, cold steel and I'm gonna jam it into your arm and I'm gonna suck out your life force or I'm gonna jam it into your arm and I'm gonna put in this stuff, we would never buy it. <laughs> like we go, I'm not, I'm not going and let you jam hard steel in my arm and put in some kind of virus and to make me better whatever that's not what they sell right they don't sell i'm going to put a virus in your arm to make you better they're going to say i'm going to keep you from being you know i'm going to help you not get measles mumps rubella you know whatever they don't tell you um i'm going to sell you 23 rounds of chemotherapy they sell you a longer healthier life a guy who's um teaching you how to work out doesn't sell treadmilling he doesn't sell that he sells that ass and those jeans, right? He doesn't sell you sit-ups, he sells you washboard abs. So we're, we have to be so careful on the thing that we're selling, right? And we wanna be careful that we're not selling all the, the ugly, you know, again, the steak. We're selling the steak and we're trying to feed it to the baby. We gotta be clear on what we're selling. Um, let's see, it goes, you're selling, you're selling to their desired outcome and how you can help them. Yes. And, and more so than the how, more so than the how, you're selling them their desired outcome, right? So if they say, if they walk in and they want a healthier life, right? When they get to the point of how is usually after they've already made the purchase. So if you're really good at this, you'll continue to sell the thing that they want right this is what they want they may ask you questions on how but if you get too deep and detailed into the process you're actually going to scare them the hell away there that's why there are several people who'll go to the doctor and they'll want a healthier happier life and then you say chemotherapy and they start freaking out right it's because it's because of how it's packaged 
And don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here touting like the virtues of chemotherapy and radiation. I'm just saying that many, many times what we do is we sell the wrong thing. We're so busy selling all of our deep, detailed knowledge to show people that we know everything, that we know it all. And what we miss is that we need to really be thinking about how does this customer want to be transformed? How do they want to change? right it's not about exactly it's not about the selling the widget it's not about the widget it's about the transformation you know you guys heard me say a while ago that content is not king and someone took that to mean that i said don't market and i'm like no that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying don't market what i'm saying is putting out all of this deep detailed like content is not what people are looking for. You're waterboarding them with content and they and they get confused, right? So what you really wanna do is you wanna say, what is the result that my client is looking for? When my clients come to me, quite honestly, what they're looking for is they're like, clarity. They're like, Donna, I'm doing all of these things. And the way I like to describe it is this. This is how most of my clients come to me. They're like, I have all the puzzle pieces, all of them. And the problem is not only do I have all the puzzle pieces that I think I need, I have puzzle pieces that I'm not sure that I need. So I have all these pieces sitting on the table in front of me, right? I have social media marketing. And then that social media marketing goes, well, you gotta be on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. And now there's a challenge. And should I be doing the challenge or should I not be doing the challenge? Oh my God, and don't forget Twitter. I'm not on Twitter all day. How am I, right? And so they're, so they have all these pieces, right? They have all these pieces of the puzzle. And then they have other pieces that are thrown in there because they've listened to all these experts. And now they're going, I don't know which pieces I'm supposed to have versus which pieces I'm not supposed to have. And because I'm not, I'm not even sure what the picture looks like because of all the pieces that I have. Like I took, I looked at the box top. I know that's what it says, but it's an 8,000 piece puzzle and I got 9,000 pieces here. And so what ends up happening is people, they just want clarity. They're like, just tell me what I need and what I don't need. That's it. And the cool thing about that is a lot of times when I work with people, they come in and they go, well, just tell me what I need. And we streamline the process so much that I go, we're going to get you from here to making money three months. That's our goal. Three months. How can we get you from here to making money in three months? Because we got to get rid of some of all these extra pieces that are confusing people and keeping them from being very streamlined towards their goal. Anyway, I got to run because it's time for me to uh, get on my, get out of here and, and go to the airport. But I just want you guys to think about that, right? Think about your message and how your message really should be really tracking more towards what the client is looking for, what their outcomes are supposed to be, what the results they want. Not necessarily all the work you do, right? They want clarity, they want more sales, they want more time on their hand, they want less work with more results. Um, they want a, a, a process that's simplified, that helps them get to the goal. They want their brand to be amazing. You just have to be crystal, crystal, crystal clear what your clients are looking for, and you have to say it in the language that they understand, not just the language that you want to communicate it in, right? And so that's one of the big things that we talk about, especially in our sales and marketing bootcamp. So if you're interested in getting more sales, more marketing for your business, then all you got to do is head over to highprofitsales.com. My name is Donna St. Louis. I'll see you later.